Hello everyone, how are you doing? It's JC. Welcome back. So today, we'll be unboxing the only sneaker that I got this year. So just quickly, before we start the video, I just want to check on everyone. I know that we are still in the pandemic and we are still fighting every day. So I just hope that all of you are doing well. Uh, I just want to greet everyone in advance. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas because I am not sure if this is going to be um, the last video that I'll be doing for this year because you know life's kind of tough right now and I'm not having a lot of ideas and energy to film so yeah I just hope everyone's doing well happy new year merry christmas in advance and I know that eventually we'll get back to normal and earlier I just got my first dose of vaccine so good job for me so I think you can start now. I was eyeing to either get this, the Adidas Yeezy Mix Out, or the Converse Comme de Gasson um, collaboration with the heart. Uh, but you know, I finally decided to get this one. This is called the Nike Air Jordan 1 Lowe's Light Chocolate, or most probably, you know, known to everyone as Mocha. So, let's go. So let's look at the box. So normal, Air Jordan 1's box. So, so outsole is black, midsole is like an off-white or sail, um, toe box is synthetic leather, nubuck for the side panels and synthetic leather, nubuck swoosh, sack liner is pink, quilted, inside is, uh, insole would be black with pink jumpman. So flat laces, we have um, another lace that I'll be showing you guys. So the tongue is nylon, so there you go. So I think this are reflective, so 3M. This um, Air Jordan logo are painted. So I got mine uh, in size 9.5. So again, off-white midsole, black outsole, synthetic toe box, 
Nubok side panels and Nubok swoosh. So what I like about this is this detail and I know not everyone likes it but a lot of people do because somehow this reminds us of the no, Travis Scott with the pink laces but you know in a more affordable way. I don't want to say cheaper because you know this is, these are not cheap but still more affordable than the Travis Scott's. So when it comes to the quality I think that you know these has a good these has a good quality. When it comes to the price, I got this from a reseller. So I got this for 7,500 pesos. And the retail price will be 5,895 plus 135 shipping. So again, the materials are, you know, good quality. A nice design, kind of rip up, but you know, still nice. For those of you who want to copy it, copy it right away for you to be able to get it in a lower price because you know, if you will just let it sit for a while, it will climb very fast. So yeah, I'll be including a detailed look of the shoe. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Until next time, let's chill, talk to you more here on my virtual playground. Take care.